Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the fair, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Jap being too relaxed, let us find the clues that prove it. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around 11 in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? 
Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. It's not just any. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Red liquid is oozing out. No, it's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. This poor woman's head... She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Hmm, the body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. Hmm, it's about... Hmm... This poor woman's head... I can't see... Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt.
The teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. Ah, a mechanism has just made a fan click. The till is full of money. But there is something strange. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Blood. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. This button appears to activate a mechanism. That should do it. A necklace of bright blue stones. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, Marie Drauer. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. Thank <laughs> you. 
heard a faint sound as if something was unlocked. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover, to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Medicine Laudanum-based cough medicine, Mrs. Asher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle and the till has not been forced or emptied. This interior is very simple. Mrs. Asher lived very simply.
nothing suggests any sign of a fight. I finished with this. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. So, Poirot, any news? So, an NBC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. Murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Andover leaves little doubt. <laughs> <laughs> 